again to the international group stages. We're here on Stream C, taking further look at this matchup, IGV versus Fnatic. A very big matchup indeed for IGV uh, and Fnatic. I mean, if Fnatic want a chance of not getting knocked out in the group stages, they really need to pull something together here. I'm Lyrical, joined as well by the wonderful Ben Merlini. Woo, my man, how you doing? What's up? What's up? Better than Fnatic, I would say, because Fnatic, they need, I believe, at Wait, double check. This they need a lot. They're I think they, if they don't win a game here, I think they're out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're in that bad of a situation. Let me double check. Okay. Yeah, of course we're just coming uh, fresh from the Cloud Nine um, versus Execration series, where they were able to split the series one-one, and you know, Cloud Nine with their backs up against the wall were able to come in and finish it off to make sure that they. Uh, still have a really good shot of moving on. Um, we'll see if Fnatic can do the same. Yeah, they need to end up with at least three wins to tie in for this. Okay. So I guess they still have a match. But I mean, they need some wins. Yeah, let's just put it that way. They play EG tomorrow. That's rough. So their chances aren't looking good there. So their best chance of picking up two wins are right here versus IG. But I think IG put on even. They came off that super long victory. They had some time to rest, and I'm, feel, I'm sure that they're feeling pretty good now that they actually might have a chance for upper bracket. Yeah, I mean, TNC did win their matches against, uh, I think it was Liquid, or no, it was against Infamous that they played, and that puts them in better contention, but they still have to play a couple of really tough uh, opponents tomorrow. So um, if IG Vitality are able to clean up house here, I think that they're put in a really good position to at least maybe be able to contest for tiebreakers, uh, but they need to close it out. And look who it is, Lich and Doom for IGV against Kunkka and Ancient Apparition. AA is actually pretty good for them. Uh, most Dooms take that plus Scorched Earth damage and heal talent. Uh, sometimes he has, he has like massive amounts of HP because they also get the Doom. Devour Ancient, so the percentage base shatter on the Ancient Apparition and the no regen is hugely important. I would say like versus Doom and Alk is probably the two. Yeah, and it's uh, I mean also just in general like play style wise, it there's little things that you can do the um, increasing the magical damage. Uh, granted, also Doom has trouble staying alive since he has low armor also. Um, but as far as like a dual support combo goes, Kunkka Ancient Apparition is a little bit different. Um, I, I'm wondering, like, because when Fnatic first came into this, they were playing like the everybody surround QO and then he just goes in style. And then that proved not to be that effective. And now it feels like they're kind of switching things up a little bit. <laughs> that was when they started just ditching Ajit, though. Right. Single core is not going to work well. You can't just rely on one. Uh, I was thinking like a wisp strap, perhaps. We have seen an okay fanatic, but maybe not the best move. It's always a little bit scary. Um, I'm curious to see if IGV decide to put the Doom on dogfights, or if we might be seeing an in July. Doom, because I know that when we saw uh, LGD FY run it, they put it on Inflame, and he had a really good showing of it, and then they had to, like, off on a Tusk and stuff, and it ended up working out pretty well. I think IG Vitality, the run, the Doom, far more in the off lane. Weaver, I see Weaver picked a lot versus A. Doesn't care about the mic. Vortex, nor have mobility issues also you can just go in the back and kill a very very useful and you can time lapse off the inherently very good matchup more void yeah we're just running it back again <laughs> faceless void this time of course going against the doom and the lich but we showed just how strong it can be and now you've got a lot of things to throw into that chronosphere not to mention the Ice Vortex to increase the damage that's being dealt out by all those guys. This feels like it could be quite a strong strat. Could still do dr Hmm. 
seems like it could be cool. Um, they did that, well, and this was the, the amazing game that we saw earlier from them as well, was when it was dogfights that ended up getting switched into a position for Weaver. Mm-hmm. Nope. Oh. And it is going to be in July playing the Doom as well, unless we see something very strange happen. We are waiting for a Sakata hero. Unless it's Invoker last, which also would be weird, so I don't think it's in. And also, Chrono, or uh, rather, Spell Steel is pretty high tier as well. Yeah, both's actually very easy. Because the, nor the normal way you catch a combo is X Torrent Boat. So you might, mm, you might need to switch up to like X Boat. So much magic damage now. Wow. Lena, one of the better mids, I would say, to pair with faces for longest range. Techies and snipe. And also, uh, I mean, it, it has sort of fallen off a lot it, in terms of the pick rates. I feel like there's been a lot of times where it would have, in the qualifiers, been like a lean every time that got taken. But instead now, sometimes it's a quap or maybe occasionally something like a... God, what was it earlier today where I thought it was going to be like the perfect lean game, but they ended up going Death Prophet instead? Um... I don't know. It, do you think that there's been like sufficient nerfs to Lena, where she's sort of been pulled back in her pick rate, or why do you think we've been seeing her less? Uh, she got her laning phase got nerfed with that dragon slave. I think that hurt pretty badly because four one one was always the build. <sighs> now maxing dragon slave doesn't give you. The... And, and also, we've just been seeing a lot of heroes in mid lane, so the straight one on one matchup, Lena versus whomever isn't necessarily as Lena favored because it's Lena plus one but like Storm plus one and you don't get that one on one interaction like you used okay that's fair and well I'm kind of curious to see this feels like it'd probably be an odd jet faceless void I guess that they could still run something else but we'll see now as it's a Terra Blade last pick so it is going to instead be an Ohio faceless void Terra Blade he seems wildly out of place again I think Invoker doesn't look that bad here. The other traditional counter was like a Tinker. Do you like that at all? I don't think it's fine Sakata plays it that much, but... Five seconds remaining. Still 25 seconds, or rather 32 seconds left. Reminds me of like the Cloud9 pick of Terror Blade. It's like not versus that much physical damage. Like you can get doomed. Let's Shane Frost owns you. Weaver, can, you don't like match up that well versus... Even if you sunder him, he... here. But I guess he has a rain, quote unquote rain, one position that can that can attack inside a chronosphere. But there's plenty of others. There's like Luna and uh, Luna and Gyro, I think in particular, that do very well uh, dumping damage inside Venomancer, inside base Venom, also Venomancer. Yeah. And now with Sakata coming up, this is a lot of magical damage that can cause a lot of issues, and I don't really foresee Ajit having a great time, but again, I guess it all comes back to Ohio. You know, he's standing in the middle of all his team right here, looking like a badass, wants to play down some good old Chronospheres and kill some fools. What do you think? Is this is this going to be a strong enough draft here for them, or do you think IGB have the edge? They have the team fight edge. Faces Void Olds. Ancient apparition. I think a lot of it has to do with Rubik stealing spells, and we say that a lot. It's like, okay, he should theoretically should never be able to. You time walk in, you chrono, and then you immediately uh, cast your time dilation. But as we've seen, it rarely works out in practice, and Ru good Rubiks can steal even from good faces. If he steals Chronosphere, if he steals Ice Blast, if he steals Boat, I could see IG Vitality having the edge. In Especially with paparazzi seemingly going to be able to have it. All right. Well, game number one ready to come underway. It is, of course, going to be IGV facing off against Fnatic. We'll see if they're going to be able to make the moves that they need to take the win. Push kill. Uh, there. I'm going all IGV here. All right. You're, you believe in IGV. I'll do the same then. A team that's 6-6 six and six or 1-11. I think IGV's lineup is slightly worse, though. A lot of it depends on how Doom is. 
in July not as volatile as Inflame, but yeah. still has the potential and the propensity. That's okay. Get the uh, plus 80 Devour Gold. I remember a story from back in the day where in July I was playing oh, like a yeah. Darkseer or something. That is one of the... <laughs> this is one of my most memorable Dota casting moments of in July. You want to talk about it at all? What happened? Oh, yeah, sure. In July was Darkseer. And this was when Trudy was super popular and he would just solo zone off offlaners. So he got Surge first. And try to trade with a tree, and then he like, he didn't. Even, you know, normally when you trade, you just stand there and right click. Yeah. He didn't do that. He surged. He like kept running down, and then he like went back. He's like, wait, no, I can't go in anything. He's like, oh no, I can go back down. So he wasn't actually trading. He was just like running back and forth. He surged. And he just got punched by tree like four times. God. And I think he actually died because after the surge, he got leeched in and just died. Okay, so he's a level one Darkseid with surge that already died, and then he tried to jungle with the surge after that and it was just awful he did nothing for like the first 20 minutes of the game. i think they just lost 20 minutes. it was when black was on uh, team cis okay from china he was dire and i don't exactly remember who the tree was but he just completely made him through through the out the entire <laughs> surge oh. well oh how he's he's come from there that's uh yeah. It's good to see that that's no one. Some, everyone has their off games. You can't judge them. Exactly. Well, and QO, gonna start it off a little bit nice here and deal a couple right clicks off to the Ember. We'll see how well he does on this one. Um, looks like it's going to be more damage coming in. And dog fights, doing it again. This guy is always about the courier snipes. He's ki he sniped a courier in two thirds of the games that we've casted of him so far. Wait, wh where was he? He was here by like the oh yeah oh okay so he's so next level that the did he anticipate them actually use skirting the curve to the right I think so okay that is some that's just way too <laughs> next level <laughs> well that's what he likes to do he did it earlier on the support weaver that they ran and it ended up winning in the game uh, that being said it does come at the cost of right now Fnatic winning out in the lanes they are kind of doing a really good job of it five and two on the Lena and. Top here in July trying to mess with Bebby, but they have the cold feet. They had the torrent to connect, and in July going to be contained and most likely killed off, maybe possibly slowed. And yeah, Febby draws first blood. Don't mess with the level one Terrorblade who has meta up. He is a big bad guy. That's lots of damage. Wait, how did Doom already get boots? He has boots and port. He's actually pretty rich. I think he ate a big creep or something, and that gave him enough gold. Actually, pretty good. One. Okay. Respect that. Now he's yeah. back. Huh. What do you think of uh, the other game that we saw Envy play it? Um, he took the Terror Blade, basically the zero four four build. The Envy spell. You know you can gank him by level eight because he has no Sunder. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you like the reflection in this, though? It helped with that. I think it's particularly useful for heroes that actually right-click. Their heroes, you want you want reflection versus heroes where the steroid is a passive that transfers to. So, for example, not Gemini attack on right. paper. And Ember's right-click steroid is Sleight of Fist, which you don't get from Illusion. So, reflection, I would not max this game over. Uh, versus heroes like Juggernaut, it's incredibly good against. You get the crit, and Juggernaut hits pretty hard and is a little bit squishy. So they're fucking very good versus heroes like that. Very good versus heroes that have like a lot of orb effects too, like Omni Knight, hitting himself with Degen Aura and Orb and Venom. So reflection is definitely a situation. Okay. I also don't think you can really go wrong with the zero four four. It helps you farm a lot. Better. Uh, and obviously helped him out a little bit there, being able to, you know, push back the rest of IGB. Uh, we did see Injali go for a little bit of a walk in the jungle, and he was able to pick up the Wildwing Ripper. So the Toughness Aura, giving him a little bit of extra armor against this lineup that can be pretty frustrating. And he's going to have Frost Armor. Frost Armor plus... Got all armor in the world. Happy as a clam. Have fun, Terrorblade. <laughs> 
the meantime, DJ can sit mid. He's only level 2, but can go and try and steal away a couple of the runes. Sakata is going to move in. We'll see if DJ is able to hit some type of a torrent or something. As QO is also there, they walk in the area to DD as well. They're able to take this. This is a lot of damage onto Sakata, and I do believe that he is dying. Nice Perfect pickup for you by DJ. Sakata even scouted for that, too. He went a little bit to the south to see if there was anything funky going on, but you don't know if the next level if he's slight dying. Oh, there it is. Oh, but he, he had no vision. Speaking of torrents, on a little bit off the mark by DJ. And in July with Frost Armor, I know he's sitting on 7 armor. He's not afraid to just run at these guys at least a little bit. He can run at them a lot of it. Sakata, another catch here. Pulling it back in, want to hit the chains. Looks to be able to do it in QO. Going to drop. Dogfight's picking that one up. Top lane in July gets the cold feet proc and the damage coming in from Ajit. Almost enough to find the kill, but it's not quite. He is going to pop the salve now. And DJ, they're trying to take down Super. He's trying to kill off Febby and is going to be able to make that happen. But he pies in the process. So pretty good. This is a 2v3 lane. One of them is a lich. What is going on? QO just Lacuna Damper and. All right, that was that was just silly. Yeah. Okay. They had remnant down. The hook back in mid. It's kind of struggling. Five minutes in, they're gonna push the Lena back down to the low ground, and Terra Blade looking to start to deal some damage to the tower, but in July will force it back again. Fanatics all about those taunts. DJ in Ohio constantly down. Yeah, Dogfights was too, though. I think the Rubik Taunt is amazing. Giddy up. Yeah, that was good. Moving in again, Ajit pressuring. July is going to be able to be that guardian at the tower to make sure nothing goes down. Um, it's sort of this continued one-on-one -on -one matchup, though, Paparazzi versus uh, Ohio. And it's come to the tune of 33-9 and nine on the Weaver versus 20-3 and three on Ohio. Things going well there. Another catch. July in trouble. You get the clap as well. And they actually turn to fight this. They might be able to bring down Ajit. Does not have level 6, so there wasn't going to be a turnaround. And now DJ also in trouble. Right clicks from dogfights. They are going to find that kill. And maybe two will be able to bring down Febby, but they don't have enough mana. Instead, they're just going to have to back out. Doom with armor buffs. That's great. That, that, uh, yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. The synergy. As a Doom, you just want to be able to walk in. That's constantly what he's been doing. He's even been like Cold Feet, Torrented, Metamorphosis, and three heroes with Chilling Touch being on him. That's a lot of damage, and he absorbs all of it. No problem. Makes up for Sakata's poor landing phase. Oh, and you see that in July also is almost, and there's a Seder there if you wanted to go and pick it up in a second. Although, it might be worth it just to keep the Swiftness Aura. Hard to know. It's good. The Swiftness uh, I, I would prefer the Thunderclap. 150 damage versus a weak hero like Terrorblade, who very weak to magic damage. It's, it's going to cause me. QO and DJ moving down bottom. They want to try and put the hurt into Paparazzi does have stick charges for the time lapse and they just walk right into him. Time lapse is away, X Torrent is gonna connect, but now Dogfights is there and is gonna be able to find the stun onto Ohio, keeping him away. Weaver walks out and even thinking about going back in, Paparazzi. All right, he tested the waters, but it was a little bit too hot for him. Faces boy wasn't close. That's scared. Good. He, that was some crazy movement by him, too, in throwing him to Shikuchi. I didn't think he was going to be able to avoid the gank. Look at Super. He's just, like, shadowing this Ajit Terrorblade. Does have level 6 also. So if him and Sakata happen to find him in the jungle, that will be a swift pick, I'm sure. And they have the fail, too. So even though Sakata wasn't doing that well in the mid lane death-wise, he's 0-2, he still has more CS. I like dogfights to move. He's been exactly where he needs. Finding that chicken a little bit earlier. 
I bet that's a big part of the reason why Doom was able to get those boots early. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Well, speaking of Doom, that is going to be a dead Ohio, and the glue and the catalyst that makes all of their team fight work is going to be ripped asunder by in July. The thing about Dogfight's position here is it's extremely difficult to play a roaming support when you have a Lich because the Lich doesn't move around with you. So you're just a solo support who has very little damage that has to try and salvage the other two lanes. And he kind of just completely ditched Sakata, just left him on his own and just constantly going in between uh, mid and, or top and bottom. And he has his arcane boots already just because he's been at the exact right place, exact right time. I mean, that's the thing, too, is that as the game goes on, he's even going to become better, I would imagine, because he can start building into survivability and mobility items also. Uh, we did see the Ember just root up QO, and even though there is the Laguna Blade that can come out from QO, he's not a very tanky guy yet. But where do you see IGV taking this momentum? Like, are, are they, uh, when they start to get those level 6s up and online, needing to make things happen early, or with all the cores that they've got, you think they're just pretty happy with trading farm? For IGV? Yeah. They're going to get their items soon. They have a Veil soon on Ember Spear. They have the Lance soon on Weaver. So this is way different than like a... Alternatively, very common builds. BOT's first on Ember, and Lincoln's first on Weaver. These are... This is the complete opposite in terms of when they want to fight. They want to fight 10 to 20 minutes, let's say, instead of 20 to 30. So I think they can start fighting very, very soon. They have the Doom. He is going to have drums very soon, too. So they're going to be quite strong and ready to run at Fnatic. They missed one Chrono and messed up one Chrono. And they could be using one two towers. Oh, man. And just look at that. They brought in QO. They brought in DJ. They had Ohio already down here. And they wanted to try and find a pickoff onto the Weaver. But it's just not going to happen. And now, Dogfights has also been able to steal level 4 Time Walk. So that mobility is just built into his hero now. Yeah, you can even steal Dragon Slave too from Kuro and they just immediately annihilate the people with the Dragon Slave. So, him having this much farm is a big deal. Oh my goodness. And he's able to just lift up and. Oh my goodness, wow. they kill him off. I didn't even catch that one because in the meantime, in July was running at uh, top lane Lich. He doesn't have any answer. Now they're going to be able to taste down DJ as well. I think he is dead. Dog fights with the double kill on top of it. And in July does indeed run them down up in the top lane. So, Ancient Apparition dead, Kunkka dead, QO dead. What the hell's going on? Uh, what happened with Ajit? Or what happened with Sakata? How do you... <laughs> it's terribly. He was in between the mid T1 and T2. I'm not sure what happened there, but on the bottom, I did see what happened. He time walked into the Lina, dragged her into the tower, and destroyed her. Fabi needs level 6. This, this doom has to be addressed, and I think the best solution is Ice Blast. And honestly, if Febby's not careful, you can just go for the ensnare and doom him. Like, I I don't know what stops them from doing that with the exception of, like, threat of TPs, but even that, he doesn't have enough mana. It's 300. Okay. Now you have 300. And he probably wants to be able to cast Scorch Earth, but I think without Scorch Earth, this They're bringing in the rest of their cores, though, and Super is there also. He's going to head away so he doesn't get the Cold Feet proc from him. Drops down a ward as well. And now Febby lifted up, fade bolted, and beaten in the head a few times before he eventually falls. And what are Fnatic really going to do? They brought in DJ and Ajit to the top lane, but they, they can't really take this fight. Nope. Drum's ready. They're ready to fight. No bail yet. Ember Spirit can pop to the side shot again. Ohio is here, and he is over in the trees. Oh my god, another lift of the talk fight. He's just he's owning them, and now he stole boat! He, he's gonna be able to kill off everybody! Uh, Ohio, looking for a Chrono Spear on someone. There is no Lina to follow up, though. Lina is actually hitting up three tower in mid, unless Dogfight can be there to stop the push. Okay, Dogfight. <laughs> Dogfight is back. After that last game. Reinvigorated. Well, I do like the phase boost pickup on Lich. It's helped him a lot to run out of cold, which is extremely important. You just need that short boost of force to move. I mean, that trinket boost isn't necessarily going to provide for you. Paparazzi, in the meantime, he's been able to farm into a Dragonlance for himself on top of Aquila. Raindrops there as well. 
could end up going down if he is not careful with his positioning, but Paparazzi has been so careful. He also has Strength Treads, Lance, Stick, Raindrops, and the Strength Talent. So with Strength Treads, he's 1,500 plus HP fed. I'm just going to try and keep away, but it was never going to be enough. In the meantime, you can drop an X, you can place a ward. They did, I believe, scout it out as that range creep was chasing the Kunkka. Maybe not. I might not have been looking at that point, but it's the same situation we saw in the last game where IGB just owned their jungle and now doomed as Faceless Void tries to walk up. There's just no answer. They, they are getting completely dismantled. It's not exactly what you want from a Terrible lineup. They aren't able to even come close to towers. And even if they were, easy anti-push with Rubik, Fade Bolt, and easy defense with the Frost Armor on the tower. So, I mean, Dogfight is right clicking the mid tower. Doesn't really care. Let's go with that. Look at that. Like, how long have these heroes been down here in the bottom lane? And, oh god, they're all TPing in. Paparazzi looking to try and take this fight right at the start of it. They are going to be able to get the chains onto both of them. The remnant forward. Oh my god, Fnatic. They're getting destroyed. IG Vitality, have mercy. But I don't believe they will. Did he X himself? Going for an outplays, man. <laughs> All right. X marks my corpse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is... They're just getting outclassed. I, I, maybe it might be just the draft, though, too. Do you think that the draft has a lot to do with it? Uh, I, their early game, surely. I think the, the Doom Lich lane had to be addressed a little bit better. I don't think Terribly is the best solution uh, for that. I mean, QO won his lane. Yeah, Kyo kills Sakata twice. I think DJ had some successful movements, but the Doom also just runs at the point. You don't really want to go on it. It looks like, oh my god, that bodes. And the Remnant to dodge the Sundercast. What? Oh, uh, wow, he's so bold. He's going for the 60 damage. Yeah, dog fights. Of course he is. What else would he do? He always wants to kill people himself. He is. Yeah, they're, they're, they're getting, getting, certainly getting on that side. Ru Rubik's is just... I can't believe he, uh, all his rotations were, he hit level 6 before that portion of bottom. The tower's still up, by the way, on bottom. Yeah. That's the dogfight's being. Okay, QO will have Bloodstone soon, and then... He's pretty high level, so they can't get some kills. The problem is he's just not good at killing a very high HP hero like Doom. He doesn't have the right-click damage to back it up at the moment, and legit still needs a type of armor. Maybe this is the play, though. The dog fights super. If they end up being able to... No. Oh, God. No. Don't let it happen. No. Ohio. Oh, he does get the time walk off. Okay. Now he drops the Chronosphere. It's caught onto three. It's pretty freaking good. Boat goes down. They take down Paparazzi. They take down dog fights. It's a lot of damage. In July shows up. He's going to get X. The counter feed is coming out right now from IGV. They do miss the torrent. They miss the light strike, right? But I think it's still enough to kill off In July. Super slow down. He actually kills up Ohio. In July does it with the passive damage. And now Ember coming back in as well. He wants to fight some more. Can they kill off that Lich? They will. But that's going to probably be the extent of it. Still a great combo together for Fnatic. Great chrono. Oof. They, I don't know if they got unlucky with like one of the bounces, but they just had not enough damage to be able to burst them down. In that situation, I'm not actually sure what the best like sequence of events. You actually wait to, to uh, lift them up. Like maybe if they waited like one second to lift them up, like as after the Chain Frost hits for a little bit, they could have killed him. He was probably at about 10%. Yeah. I mean, it's always a little bit scary because if he time walks immediately and he would know they're casting it because of that stun on cast, but that's tough. Uh, we do have another setup here, DJ as well as Febby, with Torrent, Boat, as well as the Ice Blast, it might be enough. Kill off this Weaver. It's also still so scary for them. Sakata. He gets first on I don't know. He can potentially make big plays, blocking uh, a... Uh, blocking a Sunder could win them a team. Blocking a uh, also. Although I think Blocky Sunder is probably way bigger. I mean, that's that like sort of last result that could just turn it so uh, intensely for Fnatic. But it looks like IGV, they're taking the safer path now. I think that part of the reason that they got caught out that much was they're getting maybe a bit cocky about their play and punished for it. Likewise, though, Ohio is here in 15 seconds to a Chronosphere. 
in July is being super cool. Waiting for Bye. Still a lot of room left to grow on these IGB heroes. I don't think that they have to push this tier 2 tower bottom. Do you think you just wait for that next round of items and then maybe go for like a Roche play or maybe pick off lineup with like the Shadow Blade that's on Doom now? Yeah, I think you have your Doom out on the forefront. The problem with them last fight is that they had their weak heroes start off the fight and they all got Chrono. You want your Doom to be up in the front. Identify the Void. The Void has a time lapse away or else he's going to get Doomed. Or you force him to Chrono. He should not perish, I think, because of the Frost Armor and how farmed he is. Attic getting a little bit lucky there. They are still going to see Ajit though, and they can't go in for the Shadow Blade. The lift, long range. They caught him there for the moment. Damage coming out, and that will be a dead Terra Blade. Ice Blast connected onto Injuli, but there's no follow up at all. Another time walk by Rubik. He's had the spell very often, and it's working better than a blink. Or not a blink, but a blue of a blink this early in the game. Yeah, it always catches them off guard because normally like, you have that expectation of how far you can play forward, but you get thrown off by that. Well, we also see the Centaur stomp picked up by in July, so now he has a two-second stun on top of the Doom available. Twenty minutes in, 17 to 8. It's a 6,000 net worth lead. And Sakata still not quite at that Lincoln Sphere. Do you like the play of Fnatic trying to like find these pickoffs? Is there anything else that they can really be doing? I don't think they can find a plot of five. I G Vitality are not full. I am. In July, looks like going for a kill. Someone that is so close. Yeah, and there's the time walk, the pull back in again. Hoof stomp it out and he's dead before he even wakes up from his stun. <laughs> this time walk. <laughs> he is completely owning them. And he went drums too, so he's like really tanky, 1100 HP. And he's gonna have blink. Time walk, start stealing different spells. Ohio, in position for someone to TP in, but I don't think they do. Or will they, Rubik? I mean, is that really who they want to commit all this on? I guess he's six one and six, and they're gonna solo chrono the Rubik, and he will die. But, I mean, I don't know. Can Because now you can't fight for a while. Chronosphere is on cooldown, and Paparazzi almost able to... I guess he doesn't have any catch for there, for Ohio. But they'll keep the tower alive. I don't know. Would, would you chrono that? Might as well. well if, what happens if you don't chrono it? Then you just give up. <laughs> Look at what Sakata can do now, though. <laughs> oh, Lord. Bottom lane, they do catch out another one. So Paparazzi actually going down there, that is big. Yep, they caught him out with a torrent. Look at that setup that they have there. He's being super patient, going for two pretty big kills. Stop the dogfights before he has, but he lost 300 gold there. Weaver lost similar amounts. He was so close to his, uh, to his Lincolns. Yeah, they got caught out by a torrent. Well played. Well, Fnatic starting to pull things back together for themselves, uh, and it does feel like it's at least a, a little bit of a change um, into their favor, certainly. I mean, as far as building upon that, you're going to most likely keep on going for pickoffs whenever you get an opportunity to. Uh, he actually ends up going back for the hood, DJ. He's trying to build defensively for the rest of his team. Pipe's going to help go a long way. They have a lot of magic to Pretty much the, the not magic damage against a slight, which doesn't hit very. Who also doesn't hit very. No defuse or desolate. Kind of just like watching the map movements here. Fnatic have to stay together so much, and likewise, IGB are doing the same thing. They tried to find somebody with the smoke pickoff. They have two shadow plays. I think this could be very popular. Unless Ohio gets two right there. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, that really hurts. He didn't have enough mana for the stomp afterwards, and actually they are going to be able to find the Doom. Ice Blast coming in as well, but can they do anything after the fact? There's a lot of damage 
already dealt as Doom is dead, and they're able to get over there to the side, but now the Chain Frost bouncing around a little bit between DJ, between the rest of Fnatic. Febby starting to fall as well, and Dogfight's trying to deal the damage that he can. Ember thought about going in, and they do end up chronoing, catching the Lich and also catching the Rubik. This is a lot of damage. And with time dilation there, he doesn't manage to get the time walk off, so they lose Lena and AA, but a whole lot more in return. Their teammates just did. Good catch with the Chrono, but unfortunately his team wasn't even close by. He just shrined up. That cr that chain for us, though. Wow, I think like six of the bouncers connected on heroes, if not more. With all those illusions, not super likely to happen. I mean, it still didn't end up being enough, though. Uh, so what was it, the main thing that just went wrong there? Like, just in July fighting without the rest of his team, or...? Yeah, his team just wasn't in a position. He could have perhaps waited a tiny bit longer for... Uh, the thing about Ohio, he was also running away from his team, unbeknownst to in July. But if he were further away from the Shrine, maybe it would have been a better fight. But I think he expected them to be up at T3, so he wanted to jump on the home. Like they'll be able to find that out and take it down now. Looks like Roche is the call though. Uh, no Deso, but Paparazzi does have a Lincoln Sphere. In the meantime, Fnatic are going to try and split push and push down this bottom lane. A hey, Ice Blast hits, but Lena shows in the mid lane. She does have a Shadow Blade. They only have, uh, actually, they have two seconds up. They should be pretty good, but no off sport over there, so. No idea where they are coming from. Looks like Fnatic are actually going to go the super long way around and set up for bottom for going. And now IG Vitality will be like, well, they ice blasted us. They know we're in here, but no one is around. So where are they? Looks like Lich may get a free pick off here. Unless he misses the stun. Oh. Yeah, just a little bit off the mark. So QO not able to find that kill. Another Ice Blast. Did that connect? A little bit off, yeah. Never expect a Lich phase, but <laughs> pitiful. Yeah. Two important situations. Worth mentioning now that in July has been able to finish off his BKB. Things will become less of an issue for him, and he quite going to run into Ohio, who's Shadow Bladed here, just to make sure that he can get out okay. Doom also for a potential pickoff with Sakata. They might run into this Faceless Void who just right now wears off a Shadow Blade and Sakata gonna TP home. I'm so not sure if this link it. For Spear, you don't farm as quickly as if you had the Maelstrom. And unless you really block like a Luna or a Sunder, I don't, I would prefer. Because he needs, they need some damage to deal with the deal with the terror. I think they actually have slight damage to because there's a leak in Sphere on Weaver, not the but the offensive one. And Doom going for more initiation items instead of damage. Like Vlad's I think would be the damage item for the entire team. Well and I guess the thing that I'm looking at too is like the it is like these main big two heroes in Lena and Terrible that have a pretty substantial net worth for themselves and actually are ahead of the other cores of IGV. Uh, the difference maker is really like this Rubik having a lot of farm for himself uh, in comparison to the other heroes from Fnatic Core lacking, specifically the Ancient Apparition. Sakata has ages, so he can afford to be out in front. I don't know how they're gonna be able to like get vision on the back line, so I think that's a big problem with these fights. Two Shadow Blade heroes running around, who's gonna spot them out? Who's gonna be able to drop wards in the fourth? Oh wait, never mind. Resolve two has Uh oh. Just, just important, very important pickup right here. Or else I think Fnatic would be able to get a jump in like three or four consecutive team fights and then they buy a gem and then they don't. Gotta cut it out. Ohio's like, eh, I don't really wanna do this. Well, they find it there, and that might be more than enough. Oh no, he's going to run it away! They do get the Ice Blast out onto him. That might be enough damage. And he looks like he's going to be able to live through it at least for the moment. And everybody TPing out from Fnatic, so... He also Remnant dodged the X. That was, that was pretty good. <laughs> he's a pretty good player at Dota. Um, thankfully, they did not drop a Chronosphere for that by Ohio. 
I mean, I guess it's sort of questionable if it's thankfully since they didn't kill him, but they do have it now for the next round of engagements. And the Lincolns block the block the Laguna. Hopefully. Oh, paparazzi and in July run into Febby, but no. Oh, there's dog fights. Alright, well they find the rest of them and now dog fights has icy vortex. Not the biggest steal in the does world. He get increased movement speed from it. Let's see if he tests it right now. Yeah, it looks like he does. Nice. Not as good of an initiation as time walk, but uh, yeah. Huh? Fanatic. I also think they need glimmer cape. Glimmer cape versus like boat, AA ice blast, Lena burst. Good, I would say. Pretty good. And specifically, since they're always going to have the Chronosphere there, you need to be able to have something to turn it back around. In July, looking for anybody, but Ohio is over here and just going to TP back home before things get too scary. Diffusal Blade coming up for the Weaver now, level 18 for himself, and getting close to that next level of talents. It does feel like IGV has kind of been pulled around the map, though, and not really capable of, like, I guess keeping the lanes pushed out while simultaneously taking objectives. It's a fair assessment. Uh, yeah, a lot of it's because of Shadow Blades. They, they don't want to split up because they, they have a chance of losing the gem that way, and they also can just get so poor so they'll pick off by the Lina right now. Looks like BKB's coming out soon. Speaking of gem, in July, pops the BKB, turns and hits it off. That's not going to be a Chronosphere there, but they do get the boat out at the very least. And damage being dealt out in July is actually already down, so the gem is down on the ground as well. Sakata picked up the Invis rune. He is going to be able to walk away for the moment, but they want to walk in even further. Dogfights gets the lift up, stuns the Lina as well with the land of the telekinesis, but can't Paparazzi live? He's going to be able to Sakuchi away. Go for the time lapse. So he's at very low HP and Super's also did, but Sakata doing so much damage with the Remnant forward. Ajit and QO, the only ones that are left alive at this point. Can they do enough? Ajit still has Sunder available. Dogfights is gonna die. They're making this work. Paparazzi needs to run away. Terrorblade, very hard to deal with, but they have found the Lina. He had, had the gem that he picked back up. Can they catch up QO? Can they kill him off? He does with that slight, but Ajit still very, very tanky, and he had already killed off the Weaver. So Sakata's gonna be forced to run. Barbarazzi didn't use team didn't use time lapse the whole fight. I don't think he expected the terribly to pick up the gem. But Doom did get blown up as soon as he went into the fight. Did not have enough armor. I don't know if he had frost armor going into the fight. But it looked like he got ice blasted and demolished. That was a good initiation. That's a great initiation. He doomed the faces wouldn't kill him at the start of the fight, but they were fighting right on. The classic. How many times have we seen teams like take that fight on the shrine because it's like the perfect initiation, but then things don't quite go right? I think even with the shrine, if you like get a good change into into uh, the chain frost, I think it was just the weaver was way too low the entire fight, yeah. and also they don't have they didn't have the items to clear the illusions. You need to clear those illusions ASAP, so that your support is just. A is that sort of Sakata as well? Like, he has the uh, Maelstrom now, but not a, a ton of damage if he doesn't, like, fully commit remnants and everything else. Does he need to get bigger? I think it was like... Uh, obviously, he needs to get bigger, but I think the way they approach the fight is different, too. Sakata has the bob and weave strategy in the team fights. Like, just pick off people with slight chains on the, the, on the sidelines of the team fights. Then wait for a good opportunity to run. Ice Blast, though, a little bit off the mark. We'll see if they can still kill him off in time. Indeed, they will be able to. That is a big one as well. Super in trouble. They do end up block blocking the Ice Blast. It's, it's too much damage coming out, though. And that's actually going to be 40 seconds with no Lich, but more importantly, 70 seconds with no Ember Spirit. Fnatic looking to try and push for high ground. Yeah, he didn't go for the 10 armor on the... Ember Spirit. It's got chewed up by the Terrible. 
Dog Fights gets the lift. They actually find the Doom, and Ohio running in, wanting to try and mix it up a little bit, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough there, as it does look like the Terra Blade is going to fall. Ajit dead. Doom saving a life yet again, and Paparazzi, does he dare walk up high ground? It's still 60 seconds before a Chrono, and Dog Fights just runs in everybody. He finds QO in Ohio. He starts to fall in. July is dead, too. Paparazzi gets bashed as he runs through, and the boat coming out as well. Is it going to be a time they find another bash and a kill? Fnatic somehow, someway, pull it back from the jaws of defeat. A little speechless right now. Why is he? That was a great initiation. Three on five, they killed the terror. That's That's amazing. And then they just threw it all away by running in there, and they didn't even make it up the hill before they all got slaughtered. I love the, like, jump forward into dust, and oh my god, they're all here. Um, but, I mean, sometimes these things happen, and they're going to pull him back again. The Chain Frost bounced in Ohio, trying to run. That was a lot of damage, but he's still not dead, and QOBKB'd. Ohio just walks away. Where did Gemma? Oh, okay. They walk away with their spoils, T3 tower. Paparazzi, I don't think, has been getting that much damage off from the team fights. He is constantly getting caught out, even with this, like, this defensive build. There's a lot of AUE spells that the Lincoln doesn't actually help against. Lina combo, uh, faces one chronosphere, Kunkka, both. He's been hitting that a lot on the Paparazzi, and he's been dying in that three, four second window. Yeah, and he went for a lot of the survivability talents, but not all of them. He didn't go for the 200 health, went 15 agility instead. Um, I think it's a lot because of the Link. The Link doesn't yeah. actually do that much. It blocked one, like, between Ember and the Weaver, I would say it blocked one Laguna. Whereas, like, they're now they're having damage issues where the Weaver isn't able to kill the Terrorblade Illusions and they're having survivability issues. Like, no armor, for example. He could have had a Shiva's, let's say, instead of the Lincoln Spear on the Ember Spirit. And they aren't able to tank up against this Terrorblade, who's been AFK farming in the jungle for quite some time. And number one on net worth. Go watch it. 18,000 finally has some money after a very, I'm sure, frustrating group stage for him over the past couple of days. QO on the hunt. You know that he likes to go far, and Sakata just barely off the mark. Blocks the Laguna as well. Now without Laguna, maybe they can find another fight. The big Chronosphere, it caught the Weaver off to the side as well. Already in July is dead. Can they kill a Paparazzi in time? Time left, trying to run away. He gets the Sakuchi also out of there. But Ohio is still chasing. All the damage coming. Paparazzi in trouble. He's going to be able to run away, though. They managed to make that jump. They find the catch on to dogfights, though, and managed to X Ohio to try and actually, excuse me, X dogfights and pull him back in. He time walks to the high ground. Links over to the side. Dogfights put it on a clinic, but I don't know if it's going to be enough in the end as they run him down, kill him off, and again, looking to take down buildings. Ohio with another great Chronosphere, too. It would probably be keeping in time. Gets owned at the start of the fight, and I thought that IG Vitality would have to jump in the team fight, but now that they lost a gem a long time ago on the Doom, they're having a really tough time catching out this Faces Void and the Alina. And. It's just, uh, like, that was even a, a completely botched initiation by, by Fnatic. Like, he misses the Light Strike Array, the Laguna Blade hits the Lincoln Sphere, and still, they dominate the fight. I don't know what more you can really do at this point they for need IGV. way more armor. Lena went for a Dezo, because I don't think I IGV itemized appropriately in this situation. Well, at least they can maybe get a Rosh here. Paparazzi. Going for a Maelstrom. Yep, he's a problem. This guy hits me really hard. So. It's still no Glimmer Cape, too. I'm no, none of them have Glimmer Capes. Looks like that's the next item after four staff or Lich. Yeah, no Glimmer Capes and no armor items. And now you see them quickly. Oh my god, I need Shivas. In July, going for Shivas. Ember Spirit going for Shivas. <laughs> One of them needs AC. Uh, usually it's Doom, AC, and Ember Spirit. But, or, or Flads. Flads is also fine, too. Yeah, I mean, they've already both bought the recipe, though, so... Yeah. It's not a big commitment to sell the recipe, though. I don't know if they, like... Having two is not that great. It is good AoE, I suppose. Maybe if you have enough AoE. If that... Ohio going for initiating Sakata. Found him. Can they get him? Sakata's there. The Chrono's down, and the Doom is going to come out. No way to save that Ember. The death is not an initiation. Get yourselves out of there. Gunablade comes out as well in July, trying to run away. Is it going to happen? 
They've got the bash onto dogfights as well. They are all falling apart. Oh god, IG Vitality crumbling under the pressure. There's nothing left of them here. They're trying to get up to the high ground. Ohio's gonna jump forward. He eats the cheese. Okay, a buyback for member. Maybe this is the initiation that they need. They're able to catch onto Ajit. Blow him up before it comes out. Doom on Delita. They've made the turnaround happen. DJ off to the east as well as Ohio to the west. They catch it, break that TP, and able to bring down that faceless void. Also, the Kunkka going to fall. Triple kill for Pop Paparazzi and a team wipe for IGV. That was so important that Ember was able to get that triple remnant burst onto the character. Holy cow, if he got Sunder off, I think it might have just been game over right there. My goodness. Clutch turn around. So great plays all around, um, but uh, especially like whoever it was to call for that, yeah, Sakata buyback. And Doom. Also very careful about his BKB. He didn't panic. He didn't pop it too early. He waited until they were lured into the fight. Was he actually able to get the two onto the Lina afterwards? Hey, they have a Glimmer Cape. I don't know if it's going to be enough to keep Bebby alive, though. He does manage to find the Ice Blast. And it looks like for the moment, IGV still trying to assault. Ohio jumps forward. No Chronosphere for 20. He still gets the Bash onto in July. And Duo taking the damage from Paparazzi. He needed those deeps, and now he's getting them. And now Ohio in trouble, going to fall as well. No buyback, 80 seconds in July, also going to die, though. Gem on the ground, Paparazzi does have space for it, drops his boots, picks it up, runs away. And it looks like IGB going to back, at least for the moment, after that. I don't think about Weaver. He didn't itemize against the uh, time time dial. Oh, no. QO. That chain frost is pouncing between him and DJ, and... Ajit as well. Does QO get lucky? Does he actually survive that? Sakata just got destroyed! And throw to throw to throw, and now it's 110 seconds without an ember! Nope. <laughs> ben, what's happening? Boat save QO. Yeah. They just had a lot of confusion as to how to pick up that gem. Like, Lich kind of walked up there, and then... They were in this really awkward position. They 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 saw a good point avoid getting picked off. It's a pretty good sign. Fanatics certainly never fail to entertain. <laughs> that is for sure. Oh, this team is great to watch. Okay. Can they push without Sakata? Faces void, try and still up, can TP in and provide reinforcement for Kurus here. They do still have the Aegis on the Weaver as well. Paparazzi level 25, so has that Tsukuchi talent. And looks like for now, Fnatic more content with pushing tier 2. Trying to pressure for high ground, at least yet. They still have 50 seconds, and they know that there's no buyback on Ember. Yeah, now they've already taken out both shrines. But they know Ember doesn't have buyback. Yeah. How long is it until the Aegis expires? One minute. Just a little bit after he spawns. Maybe not the best time. The fake back smoke in. Terribly <laughs> might be aware, maybe not. It might have looked like it just appeared out of the fog, so I think they are still going to be. Attic just looking for any opening. A chronosphere landed at this late stage of the game could make all the difference. But with 15 seconds before Ember is up, it looks like Fnatic not going to pull the trigger. Wait for that next item. Ajit has a Scotty in his backpack. Time to pull that guy out. Wait, he canceled his TP though. What? I think he, 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 I think he, he, oh my god, they caught QO, they doomed him. He just goes down, and the rest of Fnatic are coming in, and Ohio is the first one there. Does he end up doing it? He doesn't even throw out the Chronosphere. He can't find anybody. Damage is coming in. QO is back up. DJ trying to stay alive here as well. They have the boat on top of all of them. July need to run away now. And with the X onto Super, they've been able to at least pull back and kill that Lich. Also, the Rubik's starting to fall down low, and he is going to die as well. Up here in the north, the rest of IGV in trouble in July, going to be brought down as well. So three dead for IGV, and they chrono the Ember as well. They caught him. They know that this is going to be no buyback, and he doesn't have a way out of here, I do not believe. Trying to remnant, trying to juke, trying to jive. But that is four dead, and Weaver's going to push, but... I think Fnatic are going to push harder. Are they going to get there before this is... They are good. Wow, Ember Spirit still does not have a Shivas. 
Ooh. I mean, he had to buy back too. It's like, ugh. Yeah. Died, buy back. Die. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sakata. He can feel for the guy for sure. So buyback status. The only heroes in the game in the game with it right now is Weaver and the Terror Blade. Um, they have great outpush and out spam on IGB. They might even need to think about like throwing the chain frost just to keep them off the towers in Ohio. 40 seconds before Chrono. Frost armor is good enough. This is going to be our third 70 minute plus game of the day. <laughs> well on our way. Now we can't push Frost Armor too strong, man. Wow. Um, well, let's take a look at some more of these talents. We do have the 120 GPM on the Kunkka, which is quite good. Uh, are there any other GPM talents that are. Really important to keep an eye on. I guess the Devour bonus gold. AA has one. Rubik has went to damage. Probably regretting it now. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Lena, no. None of these other guys. So I guess probably just the AA and the Kunkka are the big ones. Oh, and Chrono, of course. Uh, Faceless Void, he does as well. The thing about Chrono is that it can't actually tank. Doom's supposed to be their tankiest person, but he dies in AA Blast. Ember Spirit does not have enough armor. And it still hasn't completed two bonus. It does not have the tor uh, 10 armor down. Dies pretty easily to Lena and Terra. Scanning Roche still 15 seconds before it's possible for them to come back. And now the lane push with a QO, X Mark, and TP. It's a travel. Oh. All together, Ohio, he catches onto two. Oh no, and Lich actually walked into the chrono. They are both gone. And another hundred seconds without the Ember. He's been dead more than he's been alive the last seven minutes of this game, it feels like. Wow. Ohio. Damn. Who is this to the rest of the group stages? They're showing up. Actually, Ajit actually had a. They created space for him in the mid game, which is pretty rare for Fnatic. And now he's he's huge. I think he he has 15 kills. He has the majority of the damage in the mid team fights. They have these two Shadow Blades as well. I I, I really do dislike these two Lincolns. Uh, we read the two go. I think they like a lot of damage. Well, in July goes, goes in to try and find that kill, and it's just not going to happen. The BKB came out from Paparazzi, but look at the damage. It, he just even through the BKB can't stand up to it, and all of the Barracks now down, Mega Creeps online, Terrorblade does not care about being doomed. They are hitting tier fours, Fnatic feeling good because they're able to pull together potentially at least one game out of this best of two series. It's the only time walk, Ohio walks forward again, time dilation, Paparazzi gets Laguna, right clicks there, time lapse back, making whatever space he can. Might not be enough in the end as they will finally track him down, take him off, buy back again from the Weaver, doing whatever he can to keep them off of their tail, but QO with the eyes on the prize, focus on the Ancient, will finally take it down, and Fnatic will take game number one. Close, IG Vitality, a couple of flubs in the mid game, losing the gem, fighting on the shrine, and just not the cleanest team fight from the Sakata, just dying. Unnecessarily large amounts, despite going into very defensive build. Died a couple of times in lane uh, due to DJ. Well played, DJ. Absolutely. Ohio, I, I just totally carry them with the Chrono Spheres in the late game. Yeah, and we'll have to see if they can put together something else like that. If Ajit's going to continue to get the farm or if things switch up for game number two right around the corner, our last series of the day. IG Vitality facing off against Fnatic. Lyrica and Merlini, your two casters, will be back in just a few.